thought this was a party! Let's dance! In the late 80s and early 90s, Jean-Claude Van Damme and Steven Seagal were two of the hottest action stars on the planet. While it's expected there would be natural competition between them, such as what existed between Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger for decades, their rivalry was far more fierce and extended beyond competing for parts and franchises. In fact, the two almost came to blows in the late 90s. Unlike Stallone and Schwarzenegger, though, it doesn't appear like they ever buried the hatchet. For some reason, there is still beef between them, and as more time passes, it seems like the world will never get the chance to see Seagal and Jean-Claude Van Damme share the screen together. The Expendables film series was the perfect vehicle to make this happen. However, Seagal turned down the overtures and missed out on an opportunity to make action fans' dreams come true. With that said, let's take a look at the time in which Jean-Claude Van Damme wanted a piece of Seagal, allegedly. The drama between Steven Seagal and Jean-Claude Van Damme can be traced back to 1991 when the former appeared on the Arsenio Hall show. When he was asked what he thought of Jean-Claude Van Damme as a martial artist, Seagal questioned the legitimacy of the Bloodsport actor's fighting background, suggesting the records and accolades were made up. It's a matter of opinion that he was a champion anywhere. In a genre where they sold themselves as tough guys, these were fighting words. Jean-Claude Van Damme responded to these comments years later, saying he had confronted Seagal about what he had said, but they were all good now. However, Van Damme never missed a beat to poke fun at his rival whenever it was brought up, saying Seagal was uptight, unexciting as an actor, and not in the best physical shape. Clearly, there was still tension on Van Damme's part, and he likely wanted to prove a point to his rival that he wasn't going to let it go so easily. According to what Sylvester Stallone said in a Q&A session, Steven Seagal and Jean-Claude Van Damme were guests at Stallone's Miami home in either 1996 or 1997. The party featured a guest list including the likes of Arnold Schwarzenegger, Bruce Willis, and Madonna, so it wasn't a small soiree for friends. Reportedly, Jean-Claude Van Damme didn't appreciate Seagal saying he could beat him up and confronted him at the party, offering to take a fight outside and to settle their issues once and for all. Stallone said that Seagal excused himself and left the party, heading off to a nightclub instead of exchanging fists with Jean-Claude Van Damme. Van Damme, who was completely berserk, tracked him down and again offered him a fight and again Seagal pulled a Houdini, Stallone revealed. Who would win? I have to say I believe Van Damme was just too strong and Seagal wanted no part of it. Years later on a talk show, Van Damme confirmed there had been an altercation between him and Seagal. However, he downplayed it as a little bit of shoving and said he wouldn't have started a fight inside the house out of respect for Stallone's home. On the show, Steven Seagal, lawman. Seagal dismissed the event happened entirely, saying Van Damme goes in the opposite direction when he sees him coming. Tell us, who do you think would come out on top if Jean-Claude Van Damme and Steven Seagal were to face off in a fight for real? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, we would appreciate it if you smashed the like button, and if you want to keep up to date with future Fortress of Solitude uploads, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications.